how are you? Today's video, I'm going to show you how I made the watering can hide and the little plant pot hide. Stay tuned. Yesterday, I happened to be in Dollar General for the first time in forever, and I bought a couple of things for the rats. So I actually bought this. You may or may not have seen my pink watering can hide, but it's too tall really to fit well in the bin cage. And it's pink, and I really want to go more towards natural colors, so I saw these cute green ones, and with the help of my hot knife, I'm just gonna cut a hole in the front, and it will be an adorable little house. I also am gonna just chop this edge because it's kind of sharp. Like, I bumped into it a bunch of times when I was moving the bag, so we're just gonna cut it straight so that it's not sharp anymore. One of these is going to my kids, but I bought an extra one, and I'm going to list it in my Mercari shop which will be linked in the description. So if you want to get a watering can hide for your rats, you can get one. I only bought one extra, so I am looking for the more, the bag will not go away, the more naturalistic. I found this little plant pot that I thought looks kind of like a terracotta pot, but it's also plastic. I'm also gonna cut it with my hot knife tool and make a hide out of that, because how cute will that be sitting in the cage? And they love their bucket hide, so I think they'll really like this too. This is a hot knife tool that I got off of Amazon. I am on my porch because melting plastic puts off fumes. It's really gross. We're gonna do this outside, but I thought I'd show you cutting the hole in the hides in case you wanna make some. And I thought I'd also show cutting the hole in here. I have my handy coffee, so we're gonna get started. Once the hot knife tool has reached the correct temp, I begin cutting the plastic. Gentle pressure should score the plastic, and once that has happened, I can push the tool into it and gently pull it in the direction I wish the plastic to cut. I used to mark the plastic where I wish to cut it, but I don't do that anymore. I found that if the knife skipped, it would bother me that there was a partial cut outside of my markings, and I never removed the markings that were left over after the process was done. So I just quit marking the plastic. But you can mark yours with something like a Sharpie. The regular black ones are non-toxic. Or a washable crayon or a pencil if you wanted. Remove any cooled plastic melty bits with your fingers and get them out of the way for the next step. For the plant pot, I started on the inside and worked around the price sticker that was stuck to it. This plastic was very thick, so I had to flip it over and then repeat cutting the plastic from the outside. cool and then we can sand those rough edges. For sanding, you have some options. Sandpaper or a rasp, which is what I used in the first clip, or even an emery board can work. Just feel the cut edge with your fingers periodically to be sure it's smooth and not sharp. This part was tricky for me as I am right-handed, but I was not going to use that rasp with my right hand and cause a flare-up in my tendonitis. The hot knife was not nearly as repetitive as that would have been. Another option is to use a Dremel to smooth everything out. The Dremel is the same process, but was also much less repetitive motion. Just pause and feel the area you are working on periodically. Repeat this process till you get a nice smooth edge. Now 
the last step would be to wash this well because there's like plastic crumbs. So you're gonna wanna wash it really well. But now I'm gonna do this one. The watering can was the exact same steps, just smaller. The rats really love the plant pot hide. I haven't managed to get photos of them in the watering can, but they have been in it. They just come out to say hi as soon as they see me. Thanks for watching. Bye.